What are you doing, guys? Coloring. Ah, what are you coloring? Ajin, what are you coloring? See? Can I see? Ah, happy hippo. Mutlu hippo po. Tama. Ajin, and you? Tasty turtle. Tea. Lezetli kaplomba. <laughs> kaplomba? Kaplomba. Kaplomba. Wow, choke there. Mustafa, hmm? are you enjoying? Yes. Ha, okay. Happy. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> okay, can you can I can I see what you're doing? Hmm. Mm, that Many. is blue. Happy hippo. Mutlu hippo potam. Choke there, Yep. Ah, good job. Ajin, good job you are doing. Mmm, that's green. What is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. I see you. I see what you're doing. You're doing good job. I'll join you. I need to make my hair. I, I can see what you're doing, okay? I can watch you. Being a stay-at-home mom in Turkey, it's super, super interesting and also super challenging. But that doesn't mean that we should not have time for ourselves. On a normal day, I'm busy with the kids, with cooking, with doing other stuff. You know, there are so many things that are actually going on uh, in my home or in my life as far as my kids are concerned. So during this day, particularly on this day, I was busy with the kids, trying to teach them. I normally make my own uh, my activities. Work. I make my hair. them to actually learn because they are bilingual. Oh, maybe let me say okay, bilingual. Sit down, Mustafa. Because they are also learning uh, some interesting languages of, <laughs> of Kenya, like Swahili. Uh, and also in future, I want them to learn more, one more language apart from just English and Turkish. Now, today I'm going to be actually making my hair, uh, straightening my hair for the, almost, it has been a, around three months before I straighten my hair. So I'm trying to straighten my hair, a little self-care time and bonding with my kids because we need to actually love ourselves. If we don't love ourselves, who's going to love us? So once in a while, I normally take time to straighten my hair to make it uh, to, to add more oils and essential oils and stuff like that. Today I'm using a lot of them. I have a lot of them. I have some uh, flux of <laughs> flux oil. I have some, uh, uh, I think it, this one is flux. I have lavender. I have, uh, what do we call? I have coconut oil. I have olive oil. I have castor oil. All of them they are here i normally buy from the local market and actually just to add on my hair to massage it and give it extra shine and uh, for it to grow healthier and stronger this is my routine uh, i normally use this kind of uh, oils okay now one thing i love about living in turkey is that you can never miss anything to use especially when it comes to beauty there are a lot of plenty products a lot of uh, actually authentic products that you can use so you cannot miss especially if you know uh, you know where to find them and also if you are dealing with the local producers there are so many so many so many best products from Turkey even for your hair for your skin and I just love trying new things on my hair so today I'm straightening my hair as you are seeing and it is nice to take care of your ourselves you know as ladies as mothers as parents as stay-at-home parents whether you are a man or a boy a girl you need to take care of yourself now i wanted to talk also about something about raising bilingual kids or maybe trilingual kids them our our dynamics in terms of actually not dynamics but our way of raising bilingual kids let me use bilingual Turkish and english uh, it has been a good journey because once for me it is like learning a new language and also um averagely speaking turkish i can when i find you if you're a turkish person i can tell you marhaba nasisi napio nere gidio bugunneye mekwa napio sen 
I can ask you some 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 sort of questions, you know. And if you are a foreigner and you're wondering what am I saying, these are just normal uh, Turkish phrases that you can use here in Turkey. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have another video whereby we are talking and having a conversation uh, for you to read my Turkish right now. So I have been teaching my kids. My kids are perfect in Turkish, let me tell you guys. They are more perfect in Turkish than English, than even me. You know, I'm speaking, my English is not bad, but also they, they are Turkish. It's very perfect. And they just, they, they were just born yesterday. Can you imagine? Just yesterday, I, I gave birth to these kids and they they now can speak fluently than me who has stayed here more, more years than them. So it is very interesting raising kids who are learning uh, new languages as you watch them. And sometimes, you know, if I don't know any word, my little boy will just come and tell me some new words, some new phrases in Turkish. And I'm like, what does this even mean? You know, it's very interesting raising uh, kids who are learning and I'm trying as much as possible for them to speak also English. English is like their second language. For them, it's not, it is not, the words are not coming out clearly well the way I want. So I'm just taking it slow, teaching them each and every time what to do and what not to do. And also trying as much as possible to speak English with them, even though at home we normally use Turkish a lot of times because they are father, they are brother, they are auntie, they are grandparent, they are all speaking Turkish, okay? So it is rarely, it is only me who speak English with them. And for me, because I'm learning also Turkish, I use Turkish most of the time, you know, when we are at home. And by the way, uh, learning Turkish is not hard, especially if you have someone who is speaking the, the language, okay? So for me, it is an extra advantage because I have people who are actually speaking the same language. But if you don't have, right now we live in the world whereby we can get along or you can utilize apps like Duolingo, Duolingo. You can even ask ChatGTP to be your personal assistant or personal tutor and start doing all this stuff and learning new languages. Okay, so guys, I'll, as you can see my hair, I have straightened it. It is now looking a little bit more better. And this is how I normally take myself, like I get some extra time for myself. When the kids are busy learning stuff like that, we are bonding together. They are asking me questions and I'm also doing something else like uh, straightening my hair. Uh, maybe if I want to do my, fa my face cleansing, if I want to do ironing, if I want to cook, if I want to do extra thing at home, I, I normally find some time so it is time to cook supper or dinner in can you say supper or dinner whatever today i'm cooking some mince meat with eggplant i'll leave that video in my next video in my next in the other channel for turkish food or food cuisine food so let's see you in my next video if you're liking my content you want to support me you want to see me my real life this is my real life oh it is not i'm not faking it i never fake my life this is my simple lifestyle bye